Sweet potatoes grown in America are mainly in Louisiana and North Carolina. But sweet potatoes can be grown anywhere, even in a small backyard garden like mine. When starting to grow sweet potatoes, I started by cutting several medium sweet potatoes in half and placing them in a jar with water using four toothpicks on each potato, about a half inch to an inch up, so the bottom of the potato can touch the water and won't dry out. And then I place them in an area where they can get plenty of light. This process is called slipping. Growing a baby plant from a whole sweet potato or tuber and then planting the slips. After the slips got about three inches or begin to grow roots, I then remove the slips and place them in a separate jar with water until the slips rooted. The plants with the stronger looking roots was what I decided to plant. The other slips I placed back into the jar to grow more roots. And the tuber I placed back into the jar with water to grow more slips. When planting the sweet potatoes, I planted them in holes about 4 inches deep and about 3 to 4 inches apart. I like to plant the potatoes a little closer, but you'll find most gardeners will advise to plant your potatoes about 12 inches apart. While growing, you will notice that sweet potato vines are creepers and they will creep far into unwanted space. These vines help feed the potatoes, so instead of cutting them back, just simply turn the vines back into their area. The ultimate goal for me is getting as many sweet potatoes as I can from each plant. Each plant can produce about 5 to 10 potatoes. This also depends on the type of potatoes you choose to grow and how well you care for your potatoes during the growing season. Sweet potatoes are great eaten right after harvesting but can taste starchy. If desiring a tastier sweet potato, it would be best to cure them. They will be sweeter and less starchy. During the curing process, do not wash the sweet potatoes after harvesting. Just let the potatoes dry for about two hours. After drying, move them to a dry but warm area for about 10 days. During this time, the potato starch will convert to sugar, which will give the potato a sweeter taste. When cured, these potatoes can last for months and can be used in so many different ways.